off. No, no. It's too distracting from you. Thank yeah. You. Uh, Let's look at the chicness that you are. Okay. Do you think that we should just? Oh, where is oh yes, the light. Oh, yeah. we got it? Oh, our director it? here. This one. But your jacket doesn't look good with the, with um, You have to wear a denim, denim jacket. Yeah. Do one of the bandana ones up here. Why don't you do the light bandana? It'll look nice against the light. With Linda too. 285, I think. So now I forgot where I was standing, so we have to. There. Oh, cute. Should I do the... Yeah, you can see the silver. Perfect. You're very um, sweet introducing everyone. It's just oh, a it's, very nice. Yeah, everybody's so nice. But it's just yeah. It just yes, makes it more personal. Yeah, like a yeah. menchi. Menchi. I'm a mensch. A mensha. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh because I your arm hurts. Okay, how's this looking? I think. Yeah, Great. much better. You guys, I am here with one of my favorite people, Linda Roden, stylist, designer, fashionista, just cool human and friend, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um. Okay, so we're here today because she has a pop up for her denim line called Linda Hop, which you had a store in the seventies, right? Nineteen seventy nine. I had a store in Soho called Linda Hop, and it was the only store in Soho. There was nothing there but fast foods. And then what it was I was I, I designed clothes. I had Todd Oldham, I had Calvin Klein, I had um, Patricia, Patricia Underwood hats. It was an eclectic thing, and I made clothes in the back. I designed outfits in the back, and I actually had a pop up shop. And it wasn't a pop up. Bergdorf Goodman opened a shop for me because um, I loved the clothes. So it was pretty cool. That is very yeah. cool. So forty years later, here I am. Yeah, but in that. 40 years you were a stylist. Oh, I was a stylist for 40 years, fashion stylist. I had a beauty line. Yeah, I did <laughs> everyone from Madonna to Halle Berry to Cher to a lot of funny people. Yeah. And um, and then I started a beauty line, mm -hmm. which was called Rodin Oleoluso, which is fabulous, but no longer exists. And then I made dog accessories. <laughs> Which you're still uh, selling now. Yeah, I'm still selling. And now I'm doing denim. So, okay, so back to Linda Hop. I love it. Yeah. Tell me, like, what was the inspiration? What got you here? What's your favorite piece? Insanity got me here. <laughs> um, oh. My favorite, I, I love them all. I mean, I only make things that I like. Mm -hmm. um, that you would wear. That I would wear, exactly. And I only made beauty products that I would use and wear and love. Um, if I don't like it, I don't, why bother? Yeah. Yeah. So, and I'm not a focus group type, so I don't really care if other people, I don't want opinions before I make it. Well, that's why I think everyone's so inspired by you and they love you so much, is you Thank really you. just like follow joy and just do what you want to do. Yeah, I like to do, you know, I, it sounds horrible, but it's like my way or the highway. If <laughs> yeah, I know that's good. If I don't, if why do something that you're not going to wear, smell, use on your face, yeah. you know, walk your dog with. But and that's I'm, yeah, probably to, why it's yeah. so successful. Because well, it is something I don't know. that you would actually I always wear. said even if one person likes it, that's fine. Um, and I'm also doing a book now, which is quite exciting. Oh which gosh. is not, um, uh, I'm not a writer, so I'm not writing a word. Um, it's just all visual. Yeah, of all the photographs from your Well, from your not life, just, right? it's from my life, yeah. yeah. And letters, and it's a lot of ephemera, and all the things that I've kept since I was five. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. So I'm excited for that. Yeah. That's going to be a big book, isn't it? It's going to be, yes. It's going to be, a, well, it's a lot of pages because I'm 75. It's a lot of shit to put in there. <laughs> um, from when I was a baby to now. Yeah. So I have everything from baby to now. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited yeah. for every that. Every letter I've ever gotten, every everything. Are there going to be like love letters in there? Is there going to be like an insight into um, like... There's a few. Okay, can you show me some of these denim pieces? Well, we have a... Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. This is one of my yes. favorites. It's a little drop top that um, looks yeah. great under clothes and over clothes. Like you would style this and you would put I this would over wear, I would wear a shirt. this sweater, for example. Oh my gosh, I'm yeah. so in. Yeah. Um, we have a little springy top, peasant blouse. Which is cute. gorgeous. I um, love those sleeves. God. Yeah, yeah. This is an eyelet, um, western. You know, why not make 
Yeah. Mix it up a little bit. Yeah. And then we have. Um, oh my gosh, these are these so fun. Skirts. These are samples. That's why they have the shitty tag on them. Um, this is neoprene in the center. Oh my God. This one is. Oops. Leather. I don't use real leather. Yeah, leather. of course. Fell off the hanger. Oh, it did. So we'll put that over here. Okay. Um, this is a great little plaid. It reminded me of Vivian Westwood, actually. Oh, I love Westwood that. about it. Yeah. And then polka dots, which are my favorite <gasps> things. How did, what do you describe this as? This is like a fishtail? Well, what well, do we call that? This, no, when we were kids, like in the 60s, we would take our jeans and we would cut out the inner thing and we would put sew fabric to make it into a skirt. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so in the 60s we had tons of skirts like that. Wait, I've never heard and of that. Then, That's so fun. Yeah, and then actually Juno Watanabe and some other famous designers did it again yeah. with camo and tools sticking out and stuff. But we, yeah, I made tons of them. So you and did that as a little kid? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I was, well, so I was cute. 16, I guess. Yeah, yeah. as a little kid. Yeah. Um, and, and then this jacket. is the jacket well, this is what wearing. I'm wearing. Um, and then there's way more stuff in the front. Um, we have skirts, we have tunics, we have more jeans. We have the jeans I'm wearing, which yes, are like so cute. They're like 501s, yeah. but they just fit because they're just perfectly straight. Yeah, which I love. And the cuff. And this is Winky, but he's not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not for this sale. This is the baby. This is my inspiration. Oh my goodness. My so, and, why, I mean, everyone's obsessed with you. Well, that's and your, crazy, but your style and everything. Well, I think it's because... Yeah, why do you think? I mean, I know why I think, but I'm curious I what you know. think about all I mean, that. my mother was, you know, we weren't rich or anything, but my mother was very creative. She was an interior designer. She was an artist. She had an antique shop, and she was very um, creative in the way she dressed. I guess. Yeah. So I guess it just came, like, in... A DNA kind of way. Yeah. It just seems like you always make very bold choices. Really? And you just commit to them. Like, I remember we were sitting and having a glass of wine, and you were telling me about the house that you bought oh! during COVID. Oh but God. it's like you just made the choice. Yeah. You bought this house on Long Island. You decorated it. Yes, I mean, the like, house, I guess that's true. But it's fun because it's like it just yeah. seems like you follow like the joy in your life well and then you i do like I that do. decision sometimes so it it. backfires but i do yeah um yeah if i i don't think things through enough and that's why i make you know some good decisions and some bad ones but i don't really think of the outcome i just think of that i want to do it yeah and i want to be creative and i have this idea so let's do it yeah but but i think so many people might have those impulses but are too scared to and I think that that's something that people admire yeah. so much in you. Hmm. Is you're just bold. You just do it. Yeah, well, I guess, yeah, I like to see things through, I, I guess. I don't want to give up if I have the idea and I'm able to do it and I find great people. I've got someone working there, there, there. Who, and I, you know, I have wonderful people. To, you can't do it on your own. You really are surrounded by such amazing people. Yeah. So. I'm Lovely. in the pop-up, which is in West Village on West 11th Street, yeah. and we're just like surrounded. We've stopped this video a couple times because such amazing people keep coming yeah, in. Yeah, no, I've got a good, you. good gang. Good yeah. gang. Um, Mauricio, if you want, <laughs> Mauricio's working in the back. If you want to come out and say hello, uh, Madison is here, Randy's here. Yeah. Everybody can come and say hello if they want. Yeah, we have all um, the peeps. Yep. Yeah, so um, I feel like a lot of friends in your life like pick you up on on the street. Do yeah, I met a lot true? of interesting people <laughs> just walking down the street. That's huh? true. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. So this is another another team, team member. Yeah. yeah. I love I love Linda. Yes. <laughs> Who doesn't love Linda? Madison. Madison. Madison okay. Is so <laughs> yeah. I know. I mean, you know. Hello. Terrific. This is Randy. Randy. I want to join. Randy yeah. has broken arms. Oh. So. Randy, we're gonna give Randy, we're gonna give Randy a pass. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll do the same. Randy picked up Linda the same way that I did. Yeah. Do you remember how we met? On the street, on 13th Street, mm -hmm. and I was just walking, and you just I, I don't know. know. It was just one of those New York moments where I was like, I just gotta say hey. Yeah. So I was like, Thank Linda, you. Thank you. And here we are. And here we are. Yeah. And we like yeah. have, you yeah. know, the occasional glass of wine yeah. at Cafe Caribbean yeah. to talk about life. Absolutely. There's so many things I want to talk to you about, but um, I'm like, before we go. Let me think. Well, I um, feel like everyone always asks you about 
your skincare and your lip, like all the things. Well, I had a skincare line, which unfortunately yeah. bit the dust, but that's a story that I can't mm. talk about. Um, but I, I was never one to really take care of my skin or do anything. Because you love the sun. Oh, I sat in the sun from like the time I was two, you know, because we'd spend every single weekend at the beach. And then, I, you know, as a teenager, we would go to the beach every weekend and try to get tan and use Coca-Cola and baby oil and sun oh, reflectors did. and that oh, yeah, thing. Yeah. I, I do regret it um, from a visual standpoint because I really ruined my skin. But I don't regret a minute of the fun I had. No. I regret the, the final stages of it, but I certainly had we had the best time. Because I lived on Long Island and we lived right near Jones Beach and oh West my End God. too. And we just it was just a life that was yeah. so wonderful. And my parents were beachers too, so we would go to the beach every weekend from the time I was probably six months old. And you have a sister and brother. And my sister passed yes. away. Yes. And my like brother your... is an architect, and he designed my first store in Soho, which was the most amazing store. I have pictures of it in my book. Oh, well. There's never been a store as good then or now. What was the street? It was on West Broadway. Oh, I think my Ralph gosh. Ralph Warren is there. It's wow. Between, between Spring and Broom, and there was not one store. There was nothing there. And my brother's an architect, and he designed it. And it's very Bauhaus, and I designed these Oscar Schlemmer mannequins. And it's still the chicest physical space I've ever seen. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wait, you designed the mannequins? No, my bro I designed the mannequins. But they were Oscar Schlemmer, you know, ball joint yeah. arms. And, yeah. Yeah. They were amazing. And my brother designed this incredible space, concrete floors. Nobody had concrete floors. Um, it was so chic and so unique and it's still there's nothing i looked at the pictures the other day my yeah. brother sent them to me and i thought oh my god there's never been a store like that so i'll you, show them to you after this yeah no i want to see so you've always had taste then well my mother was an artist and my father was a dentist but he was very creative and nuts and my mother so my mother was an artist she was an interior decorator and she had an edge shop she was the type who wouldn't put a carton of milk on the table and pour it yeah. into a vase yeah, or yeah, into yeah. a vessel or something. Yeah. She was very, um, yeah, she was stylish in a kooky way. Yeah. So I, I got that from her for sure. So do you think like taste or style is something that you just have or you don't? Or do you think that it's something that you kind of acquire based off? Like life experiences, the people they get around. It depends who you're surrounded by, and yeah. absolutely it has to have something to do with what you see, what you grow up with, what you admire, what your vision is. Um, and I think everybody's a different style, which is interesting. Yeah. Um, and I think when you don't have your own style, that's when you kind of end up looking like, like every cutter. But don't you think that that's like happened so much? Well, I now? think everything is very trendy. The whole world's not a trend. I know, and I feel like Instagram has like played into that oh, to some degree. Instagram is just so hard to keep up with. Well, I think that's why people admire you so much because you don't fall no, into I that. Can't. Well, yeah. I do it as much people. as I can, but I do kind of resent it sometimes. Yeah, I'm not in the mood. But now, if you have something you want to sell, you have to. I, I don't have brick and mortar, so I have to, and that's really the hardest part about it. It's, if you don't have retail shop space you're you're dead it is hard though because i feel like being somebody who resists instagram but like needing it for what well, i do I, I did i just started it my niece started it for me i think it was really? like 15 years ago when whenever it started I didn't you've had it since then yeah and i wow. didn't even know what it was and i just posted i didn't even know what it was doing and then but when then when i had this beauty line it just became this whirlwind of you know followers and I've never heard of, and it was kind of fun. Yeah, you know, like, I, I guess it goes to your head a little bit. Like, who are all these people? Because <laughs> don't you have like a hundred thousand? How many? Three hundred thousand? Oh, yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, and you've I, got a lot I of fans. I know. One. I would say I know forty people. Yeah, uh, yeah, who follow me. Yes, is, but it's fun because I, you know, I, I message back, and I, but I, it's, it's a lot of work to sell something. It's. A I lot was going to say, do you find that it that helps you sell things, or do you? Like well, it's so hard with clothes, and people yeah. want to try things on, especially denim. Yeah. But um, we do have specs on every piece. You do? Yeah. Like all of the sizes, every, every, every measure. measure. You know, asking everything. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I, I think the pop-up shop was a way to get people here, um, so at least they could know their size, so then they could buy it online. And half the people that would want to come here, oh, I'm sorry, I live in Hawaii, I'm sorry, I live in Tahiti, I'm yeah, sorry, sure. I live in L.A., I can't. 
Yeah. But it was a good, it's a good start. Just yes. to kind of get the stuff out there without having to have to commit to a brick and mortar, which I think is. Yeah. Um, would you ever sell it to like a big, like? No. Or, no. We never We're done keeping that. it in house. never done that. Yeah. No, never again will I ever share my stuff with a big, big company. It's yeah. Not, it's, it doesn't work out. Unless you don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you care what. What you're gonna get. Well, I feel like you're so a part of like every piece in here and every decision. Yeah. But I think that must be yeah, hard to like give that to. over to somebody well, else. Well, I did and it didn't work. So. Yeah. Didn't oh, so wait, let's talk about this necklace that you're doing. Oh, yeah. Which I just put in an order for. I'm thrilled. Well, my dear friend Soraya Silkenstedt, who's a fabulous jewelry designer. Yeah. Um, fabulous. She said, why don't I make a little piece for the store? And I said, yeah, let me think. Um, like just a little charm on a chain or whatever. And I said, I got it. A safety pin. Because this it. is all about clothes, sewing, pinning, yes. tucking, blah, blah, blah. So we it's made them. so Yeah, cheap. they're sterling silver. And um, yeah, they're really cute, right? I mean, I love yeah. And I did silver because I like silver and the denim. Yeah. I look so yeah. good. Yeah. Look at this. You are <laughs> just like the coolest human I know. I just You're can't even nuts. handle it. So funny. Like literally, so, you and Patty you so Smith, much. like my two oh, favorite. Oh, Patty Smith, oh, my God. two favorite gals, Gloria. Like, look at this. Wait, hold on. I want to zoom down and show the full glory of this amazing outfit that you're wearing. Oh my God. Here we are. Wait, look at you. Pinky, what do you say? Oh my gosh. Yeah. So say? cute. What do you say, my sweetheart? Well, thank you so much. Okay. For doing this with thank me. you. Give me a little hug. Thank We're you. We're gonna hang out soon, right, Wendy? Yeah, when it stops with this biblical oh my rain, goodness. this biblical rain in oh. our lives. Oh my gosh, what a delight. Yay! Bye, everybody.